Well guys, we got our work cut out for us here at Black Locust. Not the greatest round on that front nine there, but we're here on the back nine of the Breaking 50 out at Black Locust, or otherwise known as Kensington Metro Park. Let's jump into this back nine. All right guys, welcome to the back nine. We're on hole 10 out here. This is a par three, 265 feet. We're gonna look to get off the tee really well out here on this back nine, put ourselves in really good spots. Gonna take a new disc in the bag and that's gonna be a Nebula. I've been seeing a lot of people try this thing out and saw Ezra Aderhold throw this thing. So we're gonna try it out. Get through that gap. Dang, all right, we hit some, we hit the inside gap there, hit some trees, but I think that it skipped up the hill up there. Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to the back nine out here of Breaking 50 at Black Locust. Thanks for all hanging out with me here today. We had a decent front nine. We didn't take any bogeys, but we only took two birdies. And with this course out here, you definitely wanna attack it and try and get as many birdies as you possibly can. Let's take a look and see how far we push through these trees here. Try and hit a birdie putt here on hole 10. All right, we pushed through those trees pretty good there. Put ourselves in a probably about 20, 25 feet here to hit a birdie here on hole 10. There we go. That's a great committed putt there. That's a huge birdie to start this round. All right, big birdie there on 10 to start out this back nine here. Moving on to hole 11 now. This one's 333 feet. Very interesting tee shot here. I don't have a turnover backhand like this hole probably calls for. So we're gonna try and go through this tiny gap that you're seeing right here. Try and flex a forehand through there with one of my forces and get up and over that hill that you're seeing out there. Baskets tucked onto the right side. Oh, that looks so good. That's going to be down in the flat part over there. That might even have skipped up the hill towards the green there. Wow, that was a really good drive. So I thought we got a little bit more distance here, to be honest with you. I'm going to take this Zeese real fierce, just try and put this thing towards the basket, walk away with the par on this. That's going in. Oh my gosh. Wow, the approaching and the putting has been so good today. Driving's picking up as well here on this back nine. Let's go, this is looking to be a good round out here. Nice, one down through the back nine so far through two holes, I'll take it. Walk away with the par there on hole 11. Now moving on to hole 12 here, 280 feet par three. So I'm gonna take my ESP Raptor here, just put this thing on a pretty flat line, let it hyzer out. The Raptor has a very, very reliable stability here. I think this is gonna put us in the best spot possible to get a birdie here on 12. Nice, that's in a good spot. Just short of the basket, but we should be able to make that putt there. Great drive on here on 12. Should be able to pick up this birdie here. Be two down on the round. There we go, let's go, man. This, this back nine has been way, way better than that front nine was already. Driving is much better, putting still feels great. Let's go. All right, another great birdie there on 12 to put us two down on this back nine right now and three down throughout the entire round here. We're on to hole 13 now here, 275 feet. Another absolute must get birdie. I'm gonna take the ESP Raptor here. I think this lines up best for a forehand and hopefully get a birdie here. Big skip. Okay, we'll have to see where that ESP Raptor went. I think that went just long of the basket. All right, just went long of the basket here. Tucked a little bit behind this tree. I thought we gave it the ace run. Got a little bit of work to do here to hit this birdie. Great putt there, great birdie as well. Let's go. So if you're watching this and you actually were out at Deagle this year and played the tournament, I would love to know what you shot out here. Playing the short tee pads out here at Black Locust. Yeah, let me know in the comments section. I'd love to see what I would have been compared to out here. But we're gonna move on to hole 14 now. On to hole 14 now. This one is 303 feet par three, slightly downhill. Just your pretty much routine type of forehand shot if you have one. If not, a turnover backhand here. I'm gonna take my new pastry dies force here. This thing's a little bit more stable. Get something close to the basket. Walk away with our third birdie in a row here. Sit, sit. Okay, threw that thing pretty high up in the air and I think it pushed a little long of the basket. Hopefully it hit something down there and just sat down. Just ended up on the, on the outline of the rough here, but we should be able to convert on this putt here. Nice. 
Man, putting is really good. A lot of putting in the backyard has been paying off a ton. That's a third birdie. Man, this back nine's shaping up to be really, really good so far. All right, three birdies in a row here now. That is super huge, but we're moving on to hole 15 here, 245 feet. I will typically, if I birdie those three, this is where it usually comes to an end just because of the shape of this shot. You either have to throw something on a lot of hyzer here, or I'm thinking about throwing a flex turnover forehand shot with something pretty stable. All right, we're gonna get risky here today. We're gonna go with the turnover forehand shot. We're gonna go with the jawbreaker glow zone. Oh, that looks good if it gets up in the air. Ah, oh, it's gonna be short, but it'll be in the fairway. That's always where I end up on this hole. We're gonna have a tough putt from there. So I'm not surprised by, at all by where we ended up here. This is like typically where I end up on this hole. Since we're in the fairway, I'll take it for what it is. We're gonna try and nail this jump putt here. Do it. Oh my gosh, off the right side of the chains there. I thought we nailed that birdie. That would have been huge. Dang. Nice run. Really thought we had that one. It was looking really, really good. Just went off the right side of the chains there. Like I said, this is usually where the birdie train ends on this hole for some reason or another. Either way, we'll walk away with the par and that's better than bogey. Man, really would have liked to sink that putt there on 15, but that's okay. Walk away with the par. Hole 16 now. This is 232 feet. Must get birdie opportunity here. This one's a short one and an ace opportunity. Either way, we just need to get something down there. Put ourselves in a spot to get that birdie putt there. Nice, that should be down there. Threw that on a little bit too much hyzer, but either way, carry down there. We should be in a pretty good spot to hit a putt there. All right, push just past here into the rough, but we should be able to pick this one up. Nice putt there. Let's go, make sure we don't get cut by any thorns or anything like that. Big birdie there, heading into 17 and 18, which are pretty difficult holes to end on, but shooting really well out here right now. All right, guys. Another birdie there on 16, which is huge. Right now we're sitting at seven down through the round in total right now, which is really big. We're right around that mark that we were the previous time that we played out here, which is eight down. We're moving on to hole 17 here. According to UDIS now, this one's a par four, 423 feet. Last time we played here, we played as a par three, but I'm just going based off of what UDIS says here. All right, just need to push something out to the right side here. Oh, that looks really good. Keep going. Push. Nice. I think that's right down there in the fairway. We should be in a really good spot down there. Really good shot with this force. Pretty much just in routine up and down here. I'm gonna try a backhand here. It's been working pretty well so far today. Nice, absolutely parked under the basket there. Snuck through those trees with that fierce. Should be able to pick up a birdie there. Really stoked that this one is a par four because this is really difficult to get to on a par three. So that's a birdie there. We put ourselves in a really good spot with that drive. It's easy approach shot there. Moving on to hole 18. All right, guys, on to the final hole out here at Black Locust. This is hole 18. 507 feet par four it's a very difficult par four to end on here if we can pick up a birdie here to end this round that would be huge but either way try and walk away with a good score here on this final hole all right just going to take the my more stable scorch here try and put this thing on a little bit of hyzer it's kind of i just kind of want a pushing hyzer shot through here just like that keep going fade Oh, it hit a tree just at the end. We'll have to take a look and see what we got down there, but that was looking really, really good. All right, guys, this was a great drive here. We pretty much just have an approach shot up to the basket now. I really want to make sure we get up there. Skip up the hill, past that tree. Okay, nice. We're going to be on the hill. Tough putt to end the round. Either way, we'll take it. All right, still got a big putt to make. Looks like we're just on the edge of the circle here according to the lines from the tournament. Putting's been by far the best part of the game here today. Let's try and knock this one down. Nice, let's go. That is an absolutely huge putt to end this round here. Wow, this back nine was way, way better 
than our front nine was. I'll have to tally up the score and see. I haven't been looking at it too much, but I think we were able to break that 50 mark that we're looking for. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up the back nine and the entire round out here at Black Locust, otherwise known as Kensington Metro Park. And our score on the back nine was absolutely insane. Huge score out here. We were able to hit six birdies. I believe we only missed two opportunities for birdies out here. So that put us at an overall score on the entire round at 49. So we were able to break that 50 mark like we were looking for. If you were able to play Deagle, let me know what you shot out here this year. I would love to know what I would compare to if I was able to play the tournament out here. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure that you hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about the course overall and make sure that you hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be bringing you more videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.